Ayan, so ang topic ngayon ay patungkol sa pag-solve ng problem, basic problems in terms of concerning rel- relativistic Doppler effect. So ang Doppler effect ay isang konsepto ng physics o siyensya na tumuntok kayo sa pagbabago ng, mabilis ako, di ba? <laughs> pagbabago ng uh, frequency ng sound wave or ng light, light wave kung ang isang source nito ay lumalapit or lumalayo sa iyo. Ang very classic na example ng Doppler effect ay yung pagbabago ng pitch ng ambulansya pag nag-pass by sa iyo pag malapit ng ambulansya at pag malayo na yung ambulansya. Nagbabago yung pitch ng sound. So that's Doppler effect. Very much applicable din siya when it comes to astronomy or planetary science. Kasi nga, para maaral yung distansya ng mga celestial bodies at kung paano sila nag expand inaaral yan. <laughs> inaaral yung mga, uh, ina-analyze na yung mga bagay-bagay na yun sa pamamagitan. Isa sa mga ways ay through uh, Doppler, through relativistic Doppler effect. So, sinabi ko naman yung basics niya. Let's focus na here. So, ang equation ng Doppler effect ay ito. We have F equals F sub naught x square root of 1 plus V over C all over by 1 minus V over C. So, kung mapansin nyo, yung F dyan, yan yung, yan yung nabe-perceived na frequency ng isang observer. Yung F sub naught, yan yung actual na frequency ng ng source or ng light source or ng sound source. Yung V ay yung relative velocity, yung C ay yung speed of light. Gagamitin mo yung unang equation pag na-emphasize dun sa problem na approaching. You know, approaching yung light source sa observer, papunta sa observer. Parang yung observer din ay nasa loob ng spacecraft. Parang niwan ganun. You're going to make use of the first equation. Pag naman yung second equation, gagamitin mo yan pag na-emphasize or some, somewhat na-emphasize sa problem na yung, yung light source o yung frequency ng light source ay papalabas or moving away from a particular source. At parang you are trying to measure yung mismong frequency niya from that source mismo. So medyo tricky kasi yung pag-analyze eh. Pero, kaya na kwan yan. So, proceed tayo sa example dito. Example number one. A spacecraft exploring a distant galaxy is moving very rapidly to, toward a strange star that emits a yellow light frequency 5 times 10 with a value of 5 times 10 raised to 14 hertz measured in the rest frame planet. What frequency does the spacecraft crew observe for the light if their velocity relative <laughs> ano Relative to the star is 0 0.09 times C. So in this case, if you are to uh, try to illustrate this one, meron daw isang distant na star sa isang galaxy na color yellow. Charis. Naglalabas siya ng yellow na light frequency na may value na 5 times 10 raised to 14 hertz. Itong Frequency na yan ay mapaperceive ng tao sa loob ng spacecraft. Yung uncle mo dyan, sa loob ng spacecraft, mapaperceive niya yung frequency na yan. Yung spacecraft na yan ay papunta, papunta, nag-travel sa galaxy na merong, at papunta din sa star na yan with a relative velocity na equivalent sa 0.095 C. Ngayon, Ang tanong dito, ano daw yung frequency ni Uncle, yung frequency ng light source na maoobserba or ma-perceive ng tao sa loob mismo ng spacecraft na yan. Kung ganyan yung uh, tanong niya, we're going to make use of the first equation presented directly. Yeah. So, so, kung yung equation na yun ang gagamitin natin, proceed na tayo. So, given quantities, yung actual frequency or proper frequency natin ay equivalent sa 5 times 10 raised to 14 hertz. Yung relative velocity ay equivalent sa 0.095 C. At ang unknown quantity dito ay yung frequency na per-perceive ng crew sa loob ng spacecraft. In order for us to solve this one, we're going to make use of the first equation which is F equals F sub naught square root of 1 minus 1 plus V over C. My God. All over by 1 minus V over C. So, i-apply lang na, i-substitute lang natin mga given quantities natin. So, we have F equals quantity 5 times 
ten mahalagang maglagay kayo ng close and open parenthesis sa calculator para hindi mamali-mali yung exponent ng one times 10 raised to 14 hertz square root of 1 plus v ang v dito ay 0 0.095 c over c all over by 1 minus 0 0.095 C over C. So, since pareho na yung variable dito, matik na i-cancel natin to, Cancel out na yan. So, gamitin natin yung next na page dito. So, it turns out now. Now, we have F equals is of A. Just bring down the value na 5 times 10 raised to 14 hertz. Spirit of 1 plus 0 0.095, equivalent yun sa 1.095. Cancel na yung si kaya hindi na ilalagay. Ah. So 1 minus 0 0.095, equivalent yun sa 0 0.905. So bring down the this quantity again. 5 times 10 is 14 hertz. So... 1.095 divided by 0 0.905, this is equal to 1.210. Kung i-round mo siya in three decimal places na value. So, ang square root kayo ng, ng, ng 1.2010 ay equal sa 1.1. Multiply mo lang itong dalawang quantities na yun, 5 times 10 raised to 14 hertz, multiplied by 1.1 ang frequency na na-perceive ni Uncle mo sa loob ng spacecraft ay may value na 5.5 times 10 raised to 14 hertz. So that's how you are going to solve a problem involving relativistic Doppler effect. First example ito. Second example tayo. Radio signals from a distant planet are received at a frequency of 106 megahertz and m hertz na yan, on a spaceship headed directly to toward the planet at a speed of 0 0.30 c the question is what is the frequency of that radio signal as measured of the, on that planet so ano daw yung frequency pag na measure mismo sa planeta na yun so kung mapansin niyo sa una, unang statement pa lang uh, Yung radio signals daw ay parang emitted from a particular planet. So parang it, it, it's, it's trying to imply na the frequency is moving away from a particular planet. It's moving, it, yeah, na-emit siya. Diba? Tapos yung, yung frequency daw na mo-observe ay kailangan measured on the same planet mismo. In this case, gagamitin nat kailangan natin gamitin yung second equation para tama yung pag-calculate natin ng uh, another frequency or apparent frequency. Kasi pag yung una, marino ka yung sagot natin. So kung mapansin, mapansin nyo naman sa question, hindi ko ano yung tinutukoy sa question. It's up to you to analyze this thing yung mismo. So meron tayong distant uh, planet dito. Sobrang layo yan, kaya dat lang muna. Yung planeta na yan ay nag-emit, meron doon nag-move away na frequency dyan. Yan na ngayon yung actual frequency natin with a value of 106 megahertz. At this one is moving toward a particular spacecraft. Moving toward, sabi niya. With the speed of 0 0.30 C. Ang question dito, ano daw yung frequency ng radio signal as measured on that planet? Okay. So, <clears throat> before we go on with this one, pag sinabi kasing megahertz, yung mega ay isang prefix na tumutukoy sa million, parang million value yan. So, megahertz ay equivalent sa 10 raised to 6 hertz. Okay, so na natin siya, given quantities. So yung actual frequency natin ay equivalent sa 106 megahertz or 
106 times 10 raised to 6 hertz. Ang relative velocity dito ay 0.30 C. What is unknown is the frequency on that planet. In order for us to calculate this one, we're going to make use of the second equation, which is F equals F proper square root of 1 minus, minus na to, V over C, reverse na siya. All over, by, all over by 1 plus V over C. So, substitute lang natin ito. So, it will become like this. So, 106 times 10 raised to 6 hertz. The square root of 1 minus V, which is 0.30 C over C. All over by 1 plus 0 0.30. 30C all over C. I-cancel natin yung parehong uh, variable na C. Okay. This would result into this value. So we have F equals 106 times 10 raised to 6 hertz square root of. So 1 minus 0 0.30 equal yan sa 0 0.7. 0 0.7. 1 plus 0 0.30 equal naman ito sa 1.30. So, divide natin yan. Ituloy natin sa next na page. Ayan. So, F equals, i-bring down lang natin muna yung actual frequency natin na 106 times 10 raised to 6 hertz. Square root of 0 0.7 over... 1.30 So 0 0.7 divided by 1.30 that would be equal to 0 0.538 pag decimal places tayo pag tatlong decimal places Okay baba lang ito 106 times 10 raised to 6 hertz Ano nga bang square root ng 0 0.538? Pag square natin yan, we would end up with 0 0.733. Since tatlong decimal places yung uh, ini standard natin dito. So multiply this 406 times 10 raised to 6 thirds with 0 0.733. We would end up with a value which is 77,698,000 hertz. Pareho lang ito sa pag-rounded siya. We have 78 megahertz. Mega kasi is million. So, ganun yung uh, pag-solve sa problem na ito. Again, it's up to you kung paano nyo i-analyze yung problem as regards to rel relativistic doppler. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, thank you po.